Hey everybody, welcome back. I know it's been a bit of time since I posted one of these uh, tutorial videos. Apologize for the delay in between, but I'm ready to get back at it and post a number of new tutorials here over the next several weeks. Uh, the first one I wanted to start with was based on a couple questions that I've gotten over the last week or so. And it was around this idea that, hey, in Power BI Report Builder and with Paginate Reports, I can actually go and pull in different Power BI data sets all into the same report. You don't have a limitation in terms of the number of data sets that you can bring into a Paginate Report. Uh, but because you're not working with a model, you're not creating an analysis services model or a Power BI data set model behind the scenes, there's a question around how do I go and create a relationship between these different data sets in the context of my report? And this is something that people ask, uh, look for quite a bit. And again, it's, it's different because you're not modeling anything behind the scenes. So how can you do this? Well, there are lookup, there's a lookup function in Report Builder that is documented online that you can use. But let me talk you through how this would potentially work. So I have here uh, my data source, which is the stuffy data source. And then I've got some different data sets that I've gotten from this. So I don't actually have in this example two different data sources, but the concept here is the same. So I have one data set that's called stuffies, and these are my son's stuffed animals. And I have another one just called stuffy name. So if you look at stuffy name and what the query looks like here, I just have all my son's stuffies here, Mickey, Tiggy, uh, Ty Bear, etc. And in the other, I have uh, a name and then a bunch of additional information. So again, very basic example, but the concept here is pretty straightforward. So I've created a table. I just went to insert and then add table, and I created a quick table here. And I just brought in my stuffy name data set. So you see here, I just have the one value. So I want to bring in my age information from the stuffies data set. So I have to create an expression. So if I double click on this, I brought into the placeholder properties and I see here general number, et cetera. And then I have my value, which is an expression. So if I click on uh, the icon there to go and uh, actually write out my expression, you can see I'm using a lookup. So how is this actually broken down? So I'm so what I'm saying here is, okay, I want to look up from a different table a specific value. So the value I want to look up is actually this item in the expression. So I actually want to get the year hired value from the stuffies data set. So you have to kind of work backwards here as you think of the logic. So it's like, what data set do I want to go get the value from? Stuffies. Okay, what's the actual value that I want? I want the year hired value from that table. What field should I look up from that table that would correspond to my existing data set? Look at the actual name value. Now, I know I'll get comments that I should be doing it on an ID value, but let's just go with it for the purpose of this short tutorial. So I say, okay, from the stuffies data set, I want to bring in this value and look it up based on this value. And what's the field that I want to do my join on? Well, it's the only field in this particular data set, which is the field's stuffy name value. So again, this is how your expression kind of works. So you have to think of this as kind of going right to left. Now, you can just type this out, but if you don't know the actual names of the fields down here, this fields item in your category is related specifically to whatever data set you've associated with this table. So I've associated the stuffy name data set. So I see I only have the stuffies, uh, the stuffy name value here. And then if I go to my other data sets, I can see it actually shows me what the different data sets I have in my report are and then the values I can get from it. Don't worry about the first item here in the context of this particular tutorial because again, it's a, one, it's a true one-to-one -one relationship. So I'm not worried about uh, pulling in multiple values for a specific lookup. So that's how you go and craft this item. So with that done, I'll just click OK. If I go and I preview my report, you'll see here that I've gotten Mickey 2016, Tybear 2015, etc. So I've been able to go and pull in that data from another data set. You can do this as many times as you want across the different data sets. And it does give you a way to bring your data together into a single table in your paginated report. Hopefully this was helpful for folks. I know that this has come up quite a bit, but thanks very much, and always thanks for watching.